Hi, in this video, we're going to answer this question about a circle. So the question is, is the point 0, 4 inside or outside the circle of radius 4 with center negative 3, 1? And there's a hint in the problem that says to draw a picture. So let's go ahead and just see if we can draw a picture. And I'll do my best because I'm writing with um, a tablet, not on paper. So it's a little bit hard to do really good graphs. So let's start by drawing the y-axis. So there's the y-axis. It's a fairly straight line. Pretty good, actually. Proud of myself. <laughs> so then here is the x-axis. So x. And we'll start by drawing the circle. So at least giving a rough sketch. So negative 3, 4, that means you go left 3 and up 1 from the center. So 1, 2, 3, 1. So this is going to be the center of the circle. And so to graph this circle, what we're going to do is we're going to travel a distance of 4 because it has radius 4. So from the center, we're going to go up 4, down 4, left 4, right 4. So let's go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll put a dot here. Um, let's go down 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a dot here. Let's go right 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a dot here. And let's go left 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a dot here. So from the center of the circle, that's negative 3, 1, so we went left 3 and up 1. We traveled a distance of 4, because that's the radius, and we went up, down, left, and right. And the reason we went those directions is because it's easier to go up, down, left, and right, because you can just count, right? Going a distance of 4 diagonally is a little bit more challenging. Then you just try to sketch the circle like this. Just, and it's, this is a really rough sketch, right? This is not accurate at all. And the question is, is 0, 4 there? Well, 0, 4 is going to be like right here. So it looks like it's probably going to be outside the circle. So I'm going to go with outside the circle. Uh, another way to do this problem, I, I suppose you could probably do it um, algebraically. So the equation of a circle is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So if my picture, which is really rough, is not convincing, Let's see if we can do it um, algebraically. So let's plug everything in. This is our h and k. So we would get x plus 3, because it's x minus a negative. So double negative becomes a positive, plus y minus 1 squared equals r squared, which is, which is 16. So this is the equation of the circle that we've attempted to draw, to draw which is a really bad circle. And points that satisfy this equation are on the circle. Okay, so however, if you look at this inequality, okay, so y minus 1 squared greater than 16, this is going to be everything outside the circle. So everything that satisfies this inequality is going to be outside the circle. So if I have an ordered pair and I plug them in here and the result is greater than 16, it's going to lie outside the circle. If it's less than 16, it's going to lie inside the circle. Okay, super, super key idea. So let's go ahead and plug in the point 0, 4 into this expression here and see if it's bigger than 16, it's outside the circle. If it's smaller than 16, it's inside the circle. So kind of a, a fun way to do it. So let's go ahead and do it that way. So x is 0, so it'll be 0 plus 3 squared plus, and then y is 4, so 4 minus 1 squared. This is going to be 9 plus 9, right? 3 squared is 9. That's 18. That's bigger than 16, so it's outside the circle. So kind of interesting. Uh, I hadn't done this problem until now, but the directions in the problem actually said to uh, draw a figure. But my figure wasn't very good because I'm using a tablet. It's really hard to draw um, you know, with a tablet. So another way to do it, so you could do it algebraically. Kind of a fun question. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful. And now you know how to decide, uh, given any circle, is it outside or is it inside? And the algebraic method is kind of nice because um, you can just plug in the numbers. And if it's bigger than this number here, it's outside. If it's less, it's inside. If it's equal to, it's on the circle, right? These are the points on the circle. I hope this video has been helpful to someone in the world. Good luck.